What's in a water? It's made of liquid, and but it's sometimes it's salty. Sometimes water will squish it when you when you squish water, and it sort of just squilches and squabs and get all, all over all over your hands. Water's the only object on on the planet Earth that can't get wet. You can only make it other things wet. It's kind of like love, if you think about it. What water? It gets it gets frozen, and when it does, it gets bigger than normal water. Water uses a strategy called hypertension. To cold it makes a surface on, out of thin air. Look at this water drop. You can see it's even shaped like a ball. How does it do that? Scientists don't know, but they do know that it's because of hypertension. And it's the way the surface you poke it with your finger, just sort of gives it a little bit, but not all the way. It's because of polarization of the water molecule. That's a really beautiful thing, science. This that can use all the chemicals and molecules to determine how it's gonna be different from like gold or something. Wow, it's so beautiful to see the water falls and the water rivers and all the water fish. What water is the life blood of? It's that water's life blood of every animal, living or dead, and also. Other things that aren't animals, like plant. The unique properties of water aren't found anywhere else on any other animal, other than water. And it's those unique properties that give water its unique ability to support life. On on us, the、uh, green blue, us pale blue dot、um, of our so-called Earth. The hypertension is what allows the water to travel up the cloaca of the plant and into the leaves. It makes veins, and it's a pulling motion. All of these properties and more make water delicious beverage to us human creatures and other small creatures, even bugs. Even bugs like a little water. It's okay for cats to have a little water too. They don't like to get wet, though. P- people don't.、Uh, neither do babies. Babies, when they poop their pants, they don't like the wet wet of the water. What is how how all of life unites us? We're surrounded by a big ocean of it. A lot of scientists postulate that. It's actually the only only ever reason that we even have a planet at all is because we are able to drink all the water up and become life. Scientists mistake、um, that li- all of life started in a、uh, little tiny pool filled with water and minerals, the two essential minerals of life, and some probably some oils and such. The only thing that can repel water is oils and. Magnets, but scientists don't know why. Perhaps it's because of the polarization of the hypertension. One of the greater questions、um, known to man is: How did it get here? Was it a comet? Where did space come from, and how did we get back out it into there, get some more water, because we're running out here? It's kind of beautiful to see a water fall down of a f- waterfall, or to see some of the biggest Niagara Falls and glaciers that sunk the Titanic, and you have the polar ice caps, and they're melting, causing global to get hot. Ah, it's delicious. Can you taste the water on your lips? That's your water right now. You made that water from your body after you drank it from a cup or a glass or maybe a little bowl. 
if you're a dog, then you might have to drink it from a puddle or, or like a toilet. Or maybe even just a dog bowl. Or a sprinkler. Sprinklers the water grass and water the life, water the world. Wow. It's beautiful. These the moisture droplets go in the air, cause a convection, and then they precipitate and they make liquid rain. It falls down and it's actually shaped like a little hamburger, not like a little teardrop. It falls down into the air, it's shaped like little hamburgers. Like a little red bud cell. Beautiful rainstorm in the distance. It's like a painting on a canvas of the earth. Your only ingredient is an ac acrylic paint. It's water, but it's watercolor. And the, all the colors of the rainbow are made up from bits of little tiny bits of water, from fighting off the light. It's, it's beautiful.